Hey guys, it's Jennifer and I have my Sephora haul for you guys. It's a nice size box, so let's jump right in. Okay, so I am a Sephora Rouge. That's the top one, right? Rouge, I think, yeah. Um, and I am both disgusted by that and um, quite proud of it. So it's kind of a tough thing. I mean, I, I use Sephora a lot, like all of my shampoo and everything. And that's where I, a lot of, I take advantage of those buy your points things, um, but etc. Yeah, so I digress. So I did get to hop into this sale the very first day. It did take a little while, however, to get to me. So that was a bit unexpected. So let me pull out the samples because I don't think I'll, I'll share them with you guys, but I don't think you care as much about those. Um, and then I'll jump right in and show you what I got. Okay, I think that's all the samples. So yeah, this was a couple of different orders, which is why there's multiple samples. So, all right, so the first thing um, we got, ooh, goodness, is Lee Lou by Rosie Jane. I'm not familiar with this sham uh, shampoo, with this perfume, it's new to me. So we got that sample. We got the Joe Malone Nectarine, Nectarine Blossom and Honey. So I don't, I don't think I've smelt that one. Um, we also got Victor and Rolf, Good Fortune. And uh, I also, um, I also got a travel size of the Josie Marin um, Organic Moisturizing Argan Oil. I love this stuff. I've talked about this in a five and five. I don't know that you guys have actually seen that five and five when I did this, but I've really enjoyed this facial oil. So I got a little one for travel. Um, I also got this cutie cutie little soft pinch dewy liquid blush from Rare Beauty. Oh my gosh, guys, this little thing is so adorable. I haven't used it yet or opened it or anything, but look how tiny. It's so, it's so cute. Like, I just can't help that. Like, that is just so cute. I don't know how far it's going to go, but it's so little and cute. Anyway, I'm excited to, uh, to test it out, let you know. Um, all right, so then I also got the Kosas is this Kosas? Yes, Kosas um, Skin Improving Foundation Broad Spectrum. I got several of those little packets. And finally, I got a Liquid Glass Soothing Shampoo and Conditioner by, is this Dry Bar? Yep, Dry Bar. You can see that? Probably really bright in the light. And then I got a purple uh, blonde absolute violet shampoo and conditioner. This was not a sample that I chose. And I'll be passing that on to my mom because she's the only blonde in my immediate uh, area, in my immediate life that I think could use that. All right, so let's jump right into the actual products. I don't have any lip product on, by the way. I tried to get all of it off. I did have a little bit of gloss because I know there's some lip products in here. So let's start with the first thing. So the first thing that I got was the Killian mini discovery set so this is a mini perfume set i have a travel size which is like the taller one of the angel share oh my gosh it's so good it's so good but it doesn't last on me the way that i've described other people saying that it lasts on them but the smell is so beautiful that it's worth it to me to want to try these other fragrances um, so in here you get good girl gone bad love don't be shy straight to heaven black phantom memento mori and angel share so I'm, I'm really excited about trying those out i was really impressed with angel share it just doesn't last on me like for a 200 something dollar perfume i really need that to last so that is the reason um all right so the next thing i got i have torn the packaging all to shreds um just because i want to make sure it was all in here but this is the beauty blender besties bronze um i really like picking up these beauty blender sets when they have them i have to be honest uh, because I think they're a great deal. So this one came with, um, it says it was $23 and it comes with a prep, plump, and hydrate, which I guess is Beauty Blender's serum. I'm not familiar with it. Um, but I thought it was just a really good deal. So it came with this little pouch that has the aeration hole so that it can dry out. This is, is this not so cute for travel? Like I just thought it was so cute. Um, and inside the pouch, you get a couple of things. So the first thing you get is this little heart scrubby doodad and this is so you know it can help scrub your sponge when you're cleaning it then we have a solid sponge soap 
And then we have a new Beauty Blender in beige, which I thought, I love this color because foundation's just gonna blend right in and you're not going to see how dirty it is, which I really appreciate. I also really like that inside the pouch there is a divider. So you can, it says wet me, clean me on both sides. Um, but the thing that I really like about it is you can have two different Beauty Blenders in there. You could travel with two or you could travel with your soap or cleansers or whatever. So I thought that was a really great deal. Um, I really like the Beauty Blender for some of my products, some more than others. Other things I like other sponges for, but uh, no shame in the Beauty Blender game over here because I really like it. So I thought that was, was a good deal. All right, then we have a new cleanser to try. You guys know all about the cleansers. So this is by Pharmacy and it's Whipped Green, Whipped Greens Oil Free Foaming Cleanser. I really wanted to try this. It had good reviews. Um, I got, I went ahead and got the, the full size because again, it was a good deal with my points and everything. Um, let's see what's in here. What is this? Oh, a little, um, cleansing balm sample. That's nice. I love their little cleansing balms. Um, all right. So here is the cleanser. I'm not quite ready to open it, so I'm not going to give it a sniff on camera, uh, because I don't want to expose it to oxygen just in case, because I'm not sure when I'm going to be getting to it, but I thought it was a good deal. All right, then we have a Sephora product, and this is the Sephora Conjac Face Sponge. So they totally suckered me in with this, and I'm excited to try it, actually. Um, but this is a cleansing sponge for your face, and it's supposed to be a very gentle exfoliation just to help scrub away the makeup. It says it is a facial sponge made of Conjac root infused with pink uh, kaolin, kaolin, kaolin clay. Oh, goodness help me. Um, but it says it's for cleansing and gentle exfoliation. Helps draw excess oil away from the face. The teardrop shape targets hard to reach areas around the nose for deeper cleansing. So it says run sponge underwater to soften before use. Gently squeeze the excess water. Do not wring. Use with your favorite facial cleansing product to gently massage in circular motions. Hang dry between uses. So I will tell you, oh, it does have a little string on it. So right now this is pretty hard. It's pretty hard. Like, it's pretty hard. So it says to moisten it and to soften. But I just thought, you know to help cleanse the face. Like I have one of those little Foreo things and I don't love it. Like it's just honestly, it's not the right shape for me and it's kind of like just an extra step. But this, I thought this might be a great way to just like ooh, buff away, gently exfoliate. So I don't know, we'll see. I'm just really looking something to help me get a good deep clean. So we will test that out. All right, ugh, we're getting to the bottom here. So I know I feel like I'm rushing, but I do want to try to do this as quickly as possible. Uh, so the next thing we have is a Tower 28 mascara in jet. Oh, no, no, no. Hold that. Ignore that I said that. Ignore that for a second. Well, actually, let's jump right into that. So I guess we'll do this next. So this is the Clean Me Up Sephora Favorites. I'm really, really shocked that I haven't heard more people talk about this. Everyone's talking about the one with the Charlotte Tilbury and the Natasha Denona. Okay, fine, but I thought this one was great. So for 30 something dollars, I think it was 35, plus 20% off that, um, this is $10 on its own. So that almost makes up the price for it. And then there's a 30 something dollar product in here. I'm like, this is a no brainer. But anyway, so it comes with the Tower 28 mascara, which I have not tried, but I'm excited about trying. A one ounce of the Nesseri, uh, the body lotion. I've never tried this, so I am excited to give that a try. And honestly, one ounce, that's pretty good, especially for travel. Then we have a Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. And this looks like, I don't know what this, 1.1 mil, looks like half an ounce to me. Is it less than that? 0.05 ounces. Um, so yeah, I think that's, you know, it's a decent product to try as far as size wise. I'm excited about that. I like a good plumping gloss. It's a clear and you know how glosses last, like they last forever. Thought that was good. Um, all right. Then we have a glow recipe plum plump hyaluronic cream. I do not think I have tried their hyaluronic cream. So I was excited about that. It, um, this is also another good size for travel, quite honestly. Then we have a, a Gwen Stefani lipstick in a cute little capsule. Look how cute that little boiler is. And this is in the color Stop Box. And it looks like this, which I think is going to be like a berry shade. Yeah, it's a berry mauve, which is not my shade. It is not my favorite shade. I really do not love those kind of shades, but it's so small that I can travel with it and carry it and I'll use it. So um, then we have a 
is it Fleur, P-H-L-U-R, Missing Person Perfume. And this has got to be a travel size because, I mean, that's a, that's a decent size amount of perfume. It smells so good. This smells so, so good. So I'm loving that so far. I haven't actually sprayed it, but through the tube, it smells incredible. Then we have a Delphine Lip and Cheek Color from Rose Ink. It is on the packaging. It's just very hard to see. Um, but this is my first Rose Ink product. I have really wanted to try these. And like I said, it's a 30 something dollar blush slash lip product. So yeah, uh, yes, I did swatch that as you can see. And it is this beautiful peachy, This is these are refillable compacts by the way. I'm really impressed with it so far. Um, but here is that. It is. It looks brown on camera. I'm not sure why it's pulling that way, but you can see like that's peachy. Um, and it is, in real life, it is very much this color. It really is. So I'm not sure why it's pulling brown, obviously, because of my skin tone, but it is very much this color. I'm excited about that, and I think it's going to be a beautiful summer blush. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm excited about that. I thought that was a great deal, because I wanted to try the Tower 28. I wanted to try the Rose Ink. Um, why not get a full set and call it a day? All right, next, we have the Tom Ford... Uh, Traceless Soft Matte Concealer. You guys have heard me talk about this foundation and how much I love it. So I got this in the color Blanc, which is zero in zero. It is very neutral. I'm going to put a picture here of how this compares with my other concealers. It's probably the most neutral concealer that I have. And um, it comes in a tube like this. Now I am wearing this now under my eyes. And so I'm getting a chance to test it a little bit. And this is what I'll tell you. I love the coverage. I love the way that it feels. It is so lightweight. It blends immaculately. Like it's so good. It's not, it's not gathering in my lines. At least I don't see that it is. Um, I, I love this concealer so far. But the shape of the stick is just a little bit awkward because to get in the dark circle area, it's flat. I really wish they had pointed it a little bit like a lipstick, but so far, again, today's the first day I've ever put it on. So far, I'm very impressed. All right, then we have the Kosas Dream Beam Comfy Smooth Sunscreen Broad, blah, 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 broad Spectrum SPF 40. So I'm really excited to try this. It is a mineral sunscreen, which is what my preferred is, and it's tinted, um, or at least in the swatches that I saw, it is tinted. So I thought, you know, this would be really cool to try for summer. Um, I have a sunscreen now that I'm loving, but I'm always, you know, testing sunscreens just because sunscreen for me is important and I want that to be an enjoyable experience. All right, and the last three products that I got are Pat McGrath products. Um, I haven't bought Pat McGrath in a very, very long time, but these are lip products and they're some of my favorite. So I'm gonna jump into the first one. This is the Pat McGrath Labs Lip Fetish Divinal Lip Shine in the color uh, Nude Venus. I have never, it's currently on sale for as of filming this. I've never tried this formula. Here it comes out of the packaging. Um, and it looks like this. I've never tried this. Um, I love the lip balm formula, but I thought I would try this because it is so uh, different from anything else that I have tried through her or by her. What am I saying? Um, but it is a very nice nude color, washy color, perfect for the summer. It looks glossy. Those are all things that I love. So I thought I would give that a go. And then the last two products are the Lip Fetish uh, Balms that she has. What's it called exactly? Lip Fetish Sheer Color Lip Balm. I love these. I've talked about these a thousand times on my channel. It's my favorite Pat McGrath product that she makes. Um, and I love these. So I went ahead and picked these up. They were on sale plus the 20% off. So I was super excited. I got two colors. I got Blow Up and Passion Flower. Blow Up is one that comes in the mini set that I have talked about before, and I love it. It's just like a really perfect nude on me. Um, here's what the packaging looks like on these guys. Really nice. Um, feels heavy, you know. So this is the Blow Up, and I'm definitely not going to be putting that on my lips because I have, uh, I've shown that to you guys before. It's a warmer nude on me, and again, I love it. So, I, so here is the Lip Fetish, and you can see that that one is slightly warmer. Slightly warmer nude. And then the Passion Flower. I have never tried this color, but it looks like a really nice peachy coral. And I'm going to go ahead and pop that down below. That swatch. So there. So you can see I've got a full little nice range of nudes there. So let me go ahead and put one on my lips because I don't have any color on my lips. I'm going to go for the new, um, the Divinal Shine, which is much less product, by the way, and the same price as the lip balms. Just something to note. If it hadn't been on sale, I would not have purchased it. Um, I have so many lip products. Like, it really has to be special in order for me to purchase it or a great deal. And I thought this was a great deal. Mmm. 
Oh, I like that. It's like warming up. I don't have any lip line or anything on, but oh, I love it. I love it. Mm, I love that. So it's like warming up to my, my lip temperature and it's turning into this glossy, beautiful wash of color. I love it. I love that. Yeah, I really love that a lot. So hopefully you guys, I know that the ring light's showing up in my glasses. I'm currently out of contact, so <laughs> glasses it is for a while, but mm, I love that. I think that's so beautiful. All right, guys, so that's it. That's my entire haul. Let me know in the comments down below what you picked up and what you think looks interesting from this haul, or let me know if you have any comments about any of these products, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.